everyone this is Lisa Brown with Ink and Inspirations and in this video I wanted to share with you how to update your My Digital Studio software with the new in colors from Stampin' Up! for 2012 through 2014. Now I have opened up My Digital Studio program and I am going to just start like I'm going, going to create a new project and click multiple output options and select eight and a half by eleven portrait. Now when I go up to help, I'm going to click create your own, excuse me, and give it a name. Then I have a blank canvas here and I'm going up to help that is in the menu bar for my digital studio. When I select it, this, these options come up and one of them says check for updates. So I'm going to click that. And then the program will search the My Digital Studio database to see if there are any updates available. And here is the checking. And yes, there is a new version. You can see it here in green. And so I will be able to update it. It's going to put it in my users folder and I'm on a Mac so it's showing uh, this version and then I'm going to click next and then the update will start. Now with this, these updates you might have enhancements to the program um, to make it easier to create using your digital studio program. In this case part of the download includes the uh, new in colors as I stated previously. So it will go through and I'm going to pause the recording and when it finishes I'll come back and show you how to install the software. Okay, now the file has downloaded and I get this pop-up box that says that either yes execute the update installer now or no I will execute the update installer later I'm going to do it now so I'm just going to click finished and it walks me through the setup for my digital studio Excuse me, I've got too much open on my screen. I'm going to click Next. It tells me where it's going to install it, so I click Next. And it extracts the files. And I'm going to pause while it's doing all of that. Right, it has completed installing uh, the My Digital Studio update and what it did is it closed out my My Digital Studio program that was open and now I can click finish to exit setup and also check the box or uncheck it whether or not you want to run your My Digital Studio at the moment. So I'm just going to click finish and it's going to reopen My Digital Studio. And I'm going to open a project so that I can see the new in colors that have been installed. And I'm going to name a project. You can always go back and delete your projects later, which I will do with this one. This is just a sample. So I'm going to go over here to punches and I'm going to add a punch just a square and op open that up a little bit so you can see and I'm going to click on it and copy command copy command paste and so that gives me two squares and let's see if I can add a color and get those new colors in here and here they are down here primrose rose petals 
uh, raspberry ripple, summer starfruit, gumball green, and midnight muse. And with this update, you not only get the colors, but you get the, the colored cardstock, digital cardstock as well to use in your My Digital Studio program. So there I added the primrose petals. And let me add midnight muse to the other one. And you're going to see, I didn't select the other one, so it's going to change that color. Let me select, color fill, raspberry ripple, okay, and so on. So that is what an update will do for you in My Digital Studio. Sometimes it adds colors, sometimes it just changes an update in the software to make it easier for you to use. If you have any questions, please email me at lisa at inkandinspirations.com. Remember that if you haven't tried digital crafting, you can try My Digital Studio free for 30 days with the My Digital Studio Express download available on the website. And I'll have the link here on the blog post. So I will see you again soon, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.